Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good morning and happy Monday. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. The rain has pushed out and skies are becoming partly cloudy today. It's going to be a lot nicer today compared to yesterday. We'll stay nice for tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, but breezes start to pick back up ahead of our next system. That will push in for Wednesday, giving us a chance for rain. That continues into Friday as the winds will be pretty strong with that one as well. Here's future track though. The rain again is out to our east. Skies are quickly becoming partly cloudy. We'll have plenty of sunshine for this afternoon as temperatures get back into the low 50s. Still below average. We should be in the upper 50s this time of the year, uh, but it is going to be warmer than yesterday. We were stuck in the 40s yesterday. As far as what tonight will hold though, just a few passing clouds out there. Otherwise, mostly clear skies. And that will allow us to drop down into the uh, low 30s at times. We'll start to warm back up into the 40s once the sun comes up, but we will be around freezing for tonight. That will give us some widespread frost outside, so a pretty chilly start. On Tuesday, we are still mostly sunny, but we start to feel the impacts of our next system that's developing out to the west. You notice these lines, they get pretty close together. The closer they are, the stronger the winds will be. Notice how that strong wind pushes right overhead for Tuesday, but we'll still see plenty of sunshine. Meanwhile, there's a lot of snow in the mountainous regions of the U.S. And as we continue through Tuesday night, clouds will increase. We're probably still dry by that point as rain will start to organize in western Iowa for Wednesday. Then on Wednesday evening, that rain will start to push in. And especially Wednesday night into Thursday, it's going to be another day like what we had yesterday. These soaking rains pretty much all day long, light to moderate rains. Strong winds will go with that as well. And we actually could see the rain lingering all the way into Friday. Finally, by Friday, the rain will start to taper off and the clouds will decrease for Halloween weekend. As far as rainfall amounts go, though, uh, an additional two to maybe isolated three inches of rain will be possible, especially the further west you go into central Iowa and into our western counties. Uh, it really could start to bust us out of the drought that we have been seeing this whole summer and fall, especially considering that we saw uh, two to three inches of rain here over the past 36 hours. Today, though, again, it's going to be a nice one. Temperatures back into the 50s. Skies become partly cloudy. Winds will be a lot lighter than yesterday, only up to about 15 miles per hour. Tonight, we drop down to near freezing, so it's going to be a frosty start to the day with mostly clear skies and a light east wind. Here's your city-by-city city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. We bounce back up to the uh, uh, mid-50s for the day on Tuesday. And then as we work our way into Wednesday, we kind of level off in the mid 50s as the cloud cover will take over and then the rain chances will push in, especially for the uh, second half of the day. 10 day forecast though, we cool to the low 50s with that breezy north wind on Thursday and Friday. Very high chances for rain there throughout the day on Thursday and even Friday we could see that lingering. But uh, by Halloween weekend, we're back to mostly sunny or partly cloudy skies. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 50s and winds may be occasionally breezy, but not too strong. So trick or treating looks uh, good to go there and we should stay dry heading into next week as temperatures drop down into the 40s for highs.